Cottontail number one. Real. All right, today's July 1st. We're on cottontail hunting. And so it's just me today. Both my brothers had to work. So I'm out here by myself uh, hunting with the 17 HMR. It's a Savage 93R. I'm hunting with a Hornady NTX, I think it's called. It's gonna be shooting offhand, didn't bring my sticks, so. Just gonna try to walk slow. I do have a, a scope attachment on, so hopefully I can get some cool shots, but we'll see. I'm not, not all that great shooting offhand, so. At least uh, I've seen two rabbits now. Man, I really. Really could have used the sticks on that shot. Alright, well. Looks like it must have been a miss. I know he jumped, but it looked like I shot a little over his back. He started right there. I kind of, I took a long time to get set up. And then he ran right here. Gave me actually a little better view, but I missed a little out there. the same rabbit he's way out there now so that one came from the same bush so I'm gonna assume I missed that first shot so I have to check that but I want to walk right here first And two misses that really would have been pretty pretty easy with the sticks
he's thumping but he's down so let's go get to him real quick I don't want to lose anything today that guy's done moving so I'm gonna go grab him see right here was the close miss I believe and I don't see blood and I don't see any fur through there so I'm assuming that rabbit that took off the back was the one I missed I'll have to rewatch that because that must have been a really, really close miss. Yeah, you see, I can. All right, my cottontail number one. Just trying to make sure. There was just a cottontail right in between those bushes on the backside that moved. He might still be there. Hey. Cottontail number one, real little. Nice. See, I want to walk this, but I want to walk this on my way back. So I'm actually going to go back, walk through this ravine right here, see if I push anything this way, and then uh, I'm going to hunt the high ground along the creek bed. I got a feeling I'm going to jump something in here. Pretty sure I headshotted him. Pretty sure, not completely sure. Let's see how far that was. 110 yards. All right. All right, looks like I got him. I thought so, he was just real low to the floor, hard to see. I got him, yeah, right, right, right into the neck. All right. Well, all right, rabbit number two with the rifle, real small ones. Hopefully we get something a little bigger today. All right, so I just uh, checked my mag and I am two for four, which is not bad. Um, I'm gonna try walking along this for now. I'm, uh, I haven't been out here in a long time, so I kind of want to get back to see if there's uh, any spots that are holding water right now. Because so far, it's pretty dry. I haven't seen any like deep holes with water. So I'll probably get, uh, if we do find water, I'll probably pop the guts out of these rabbits, take a little break, and then keep hunting. But just happened. I thought I hit him. I 
Okay, I thought I, I was almost sure positive I hit that rabbit. Oh, I for sure hit him that time. Huh, that second shot was weird. He he jumped up unless I unless I put it right under him. Oh shit, he just hopped back up and I'm out. What the? Huh, I'm just gonna sit still and hope he doesn't he doesn't have it in him to run off. So the one I just I saw one run when I was walking up there. Damn, I thought I hit that rabbit twice. I'm not like running up to get him because he's still breathing. It's definitely slowing though, huh? I wonder. I wonder if this shot was actually. I think the shot was further than I thought, and I was shooting a bit low. He doesn't look like he's moving anymore. I find it hard to believe that if I shot that rabbit over there, he ran all the way over here. Because I'll be honest, I thought I hit him twice. Pretty sure that's a jackrabbit. Okay, let's turn this off. Took off my stuff and put down my gun. I had to pee real quick and let this jackrabbit uh, go out. And... There's a rabbit right up there. That might be another jack though. He's down. Oh shit, did he? <sighs> that other rabbit is dead in the bush. But this one just <sighs> fell down the side of the hill. I gotta go check him. Buddy, this guy didn't get into a bush, did he? Wait, am I looking at the wrong spot? Oh, no, there he is. Make sure I don't step on Whew. Well, that's actually a, a better cottontail. It's a little bigger. He looked bigger when I shot him. He looked pretty nice through the scope. We gotta go that other rabbit we shot out I'm still I think it might have been a, a jackrabbit is what it's looking like put him down not bad safety up put that down. Right, I'll hop in here and get this rabbit yeah so that guy actually ended up being a a smaller jackrabbit um, the way he was sitting I'm surprised I couldn't tell by his ears but they're really not that big yeah, actually, I thought he was from way back where. Now that I'm looking at it, I was actually, I was more than 100 yards away. But 
I mean, he's a pretty small jackrabbit. That's the cottontail I just shot. Not that big of a size difference. Still heading that way. But, uh, man, I, I've only been hunting for like an hour. And, uh, I mean, there's a chance I could get my limit before I even get back there. So, yeah, I'm just trying to get to some water right now. I need to clean this jackrabbit up. He's, uh, yeah, I hit him right in the guts. I need to clean him out fast. Man, look at the, I don't know what that, I guess that's a, some type of tapeworm. I was cleaning these guys out and out of the, this guy got shot through the shoulder. Man, I was looking at him and I'm like, hey, something in there is uh, moving around. Then this thing was trying to get out and I pulled in and grabbed it. Huh. I've, I've actually never found a parasite inside of a, a rabbit before. So I don't, I don't really know how safe this one is to eat. All right, so took a little break. Um, we did find some water, so I have an area I can kind of clean up. Um, water's already pretty low for this time of the year. But I cleaned out uh, all the rabbits since I was here. I just gutted them real quick just so they don't stink up. Um, so I, I decided to, I'm going to leave that one rabbit here for the coyotes. Uh, I really looked him over. He had a lot of ticks, a lot of fleas, which is kind of weird for the cottontails here. I, I typically see a lot less uh, ticks on them. Not as many fleas as like the jackrabbits are always covered in them. But uh, I think that, I think that rabbit had something wrong with it and it was sick. I'm guessing that thing was a tapeworm, but I always thought tapeworms lived in the intestines. Yeah, I don't know really what you're supposed to do. I mean, if it was like a something bigger, I would take it. But yeah, I'm just not really sure. So I know you're not supposed to leave animals away and I never kill anything with the idea of just leaving it there other than coyotes. But um, I think I'm gonna leave one of those rabbits. I'm still gonna count it towards my total. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for the coyotes. I don't wanna risk it. Not sure if I'll get them on camera, but there's a coyote up here. He was running on that ridge and I saw him drop down but he was a, it's a pretty cool looking color so hopefully we get to see him through the scope cam Ow! He knows better. <laughs> oh, he's curious. Oh! All right, so I decided to actually go back the way I came a bit. I was gonna basically hunt this creek bed all the way down back to those trees where there's typically um, a good amount of cottontails, but that's the exact path that coyote just ran. And I figured, you know, he probably scared him off, so. We're going back the way I came, up until that hill. I'll probably sit up there for a few more minutes and then I'll go back down the opposite way. All right, so it's about, yeah, it's a little past 10. It's starting to warm up a little bit. It's actually not that bad today, but there's just no cloud cover. But uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna head home. I think I'm done shooting. I've already passed up on a few small cottontails on my way back. We'll say easily would have limited out with a shotgun but one of the real benefits about using the rifle and the scope is I kind of have to think before I take a shot. So I passed on quite a few very small rabbits today that normally with a shotgun I probably would have shot because it's just instinct once they start going you shoot them. But there was one that even I shot at him he was super close I missed. He started walking away and I looked at him I'm like, why am I even shooting at him? This guy's tiny. Well, yeah, harder. I'm hoping the, uh, the footage came out for the scope cam, I'm not sure. Ended up with three cottontails and one jackrabbit. That jackrabbit's pretty small, should be 
pretty good for eating. Um, I did leave behind one cottontail. And the more I think about it, the more I feel like I made the right decision. Because that maybe that's something that's really common that I just have gotten lucky and never seen before. But whatever that parasite thing was, it kind of freaked me out. Uh, I'd only shot that rabbit like five minutes before I got to the water. And um, when I laid it down, I could see the wound and it was, I could see the thing moving inside. It was moving so much. I thought it was some type of organ. And I, at first I felt really bad. I was like, oh man, this, this rabbit's actually been alive this whole time in my bag. And then that thing crawled out of the rabbit and then crawled back in the rabbit. And that really grossed me out. That's when I turned on the GoPro and I tried to yank it out. And we'll go home. Might do a little catch and cook. Like a quick thing, add to the end of the video. We'll see, get to the car, get some coffee, and I'll decide then. All right, so I'm back at home. It's been a few days. I'm gonna do a voiceover because it's just a little loud in my house. I'm just gonna be cooking with the back straps today. I'm gonna take off some of the silver skin if I can get it off. It doesn't always come off all that easy and it doesn't make a huge difference. I did have it soaking in salt water for about 24 hours. Um, these were frozen though, but it doesn't seem to really make a difference. I'm just going to dice up the back straps. It doesn't really matter. You know, I would have liked it to be a little bit smaller because I like the edges to get a little crunchy in there, but it came out good either way. Just going to add it to a pan uh, close to medium heat with a little bit of oil. Then uh, it's all going to be real basic. I'm just going to dice up one red onion, just half of it, uh, kind of small one added to the pan. Let those cook together. And then I'm going to go ahead and get one jalapeno, medium size, going to remove the seeds real quick. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to dice it up small. And I'm going to toss it in the pan, let it all get in there and uh, cook together for a few minutes. I did end up turning up the heat once it's all in there. Like I said, I really want that to cook down and get a little crispy. I'm gonna add some Kinder's wood-fired garlic seasoning. Probably added a little bit much, but uh, this stuff is really, really good. Just gonna let that cook down together. Gonna get another pan, just throw some small tortillas in there. Add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Not really the best cheese for a quesadilla, but I had a bunch left over from making pizzas the other night so wanted to use it just gonna let that go for a minute let it start to melt i'm gonna add some of that rabbit in there um, probably should have made four quesadillas <laughs> i had kind of some left over and i really packed these things in there top them off with more cheese and let them go i think these uh trick for these is to really let that cheese uh get real crispy around the edges makes it a lot better um, this is borderline a, a taco really <laughs> these are pretty thick these aren't quite quesadillas so yeah those uh went for a few more minutes got that real crispy cheese on the edge gets it a little crunchy makes it a bit nicer to eat and that's basically it this all in all took like 10 12 minutes maybe to make honestly probably could have made it faster if i wanted just real easy, real simple. You can do almost anything with cottontail. It's one of the easier things to cook. And uh, this is just one of them. Hopefully, planning on doing some more catching cooks in the future. Something a little more complicated than this. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you if you like this kind of stuff, most of my hunting is all on public land. I'm trying to make the videos a little better. You know, I don't know much about video editing, but I'm getting there. Their videos are slowly getting better. So yeah, thanks for uh, watching.